So, welcome to Megalithomania. We're delighted to see you all back here after like two years of absence. But before uh, we move on to the first speaker, I want to do a quick tribute to a good friend of ours, Edmund Marriage. Uh, many of you may have known him. He passed away late last year. And I just want to say a few words about him because he was a good friend of mine. He was a good friend of the conference. He was involved with some very interesting projects. He was a you know, a scholar himself. He was, you know, he studied at the Royal Agricultural College um, and various other um, foundations. He set up like the Patrick Foundation and the Golden Age Project. He spoke at the first ever Megalithomania in 2006, where he was promoting the work of his uh, relations, Barbara Joy O'Brien and Christian O'Brien, with their books, The Shining Ones and also Genius of the Few and Others. Here's him in action at the 2009 conference, where did you get that hat, says his slide. And here's all the early megalithomaniacs, I think some of you are still here today, if you can spot yourself there, uh, from that particular conference. And I, I, I managed to do a really long interview with Barbara Joy O'Brien, who was the co-author with Christian O'Brien um, a few years ago. She actually lived in Cambridge, where I'm from. And she was wonderful. Unfortunately, she died a few years ago as well. And so we do recommend you check out the goldenageproject.org website. They're still all up there. You can still get copies of The Shining Ones and Genius of the Few and other things. And some of you may also remember the late John Agnew, who Edmund Marriage actually was partnered, partnered with to create the Stars and Stones Forum in Suffolk, which ran for many years. And I just want to give a shout out up there to the wonderful John Agnew as well, because he was an inspiration for us all with the kind of Eastern version of megalithomania. And this, I thought, was a great photo of Edmund. He actually came and spoke at some of our festivals we used to organize. He's just like chilling out, speaking to like 100 hippies in a tent, and absolutely loving it. Look at him. I'm not, I'm not sure what um, he was on exactly at that time. Um, but he did a whole series of lectures which were available on the Golden Age Project YouTube channel. The most recent one, I think our good friend Miles Johnston was involved with filming, and this is just from late last year, uh, but not, not long before he died, and he did 17 learning from history videos, like lectures, and so you can, I, I do recommend you check them out, because they're very important. So I just want to raise a glass to Edmund, raise a glass to John Agner, and there's other people we've lost over, over the last couple of years, which we'll mention during the conference, but I just wanted to... Uh, just, just do this for Edmund because um, I think he was a very important person. He was a good friend and a good friend of the conference as well.